everybody. We're in Pembina, North Dakota, one mile from the Canadian border. We're waiting for paperwork to clear so that I can cross into Canada and deliver my freight. Now I have those three skids of lumber that I picked up yesterday, and I have two skids, two other skids of like tractor tracks, right, that I picked up in Bartlett, Illinois. Those two skids of tracks I gotta deliver today. I'm gonna get those off my trailer. It's just over the border. I'm gonna go get them and take them off the trailer as soon as uh, my load gets cleared. Uh, they're just waiting for some uh, extra paperwork again. Uh, some of the paperwork, I think, was missing a little bit of information. It happens. It's uh, the second time this week, but I mean, it's not uncommon. It happens. It's, you know, you just gotta expect that sometimes. Kind of a bummer, but that's okay. It hasn't really slowed me down because I, I drove a full day yesterday anyway. I got like 500 some miles in, 550 miles in. So uh, I was happy stopping here and I'm not behind for today yet. Cause once I drop that off, I go switch trailers at our yard and head over to Kenora, pick up another load there. That takes me back down into Minnesota. So I should be good. It should be good. It's gonna be a good day. I've got old blue just warming up here. I have an engine heater, which uh, sort of got the, the water up to temperature already before I even started it. So it makes it easier to start. Now I'm just waiting for my oil temperature to start rising. It just came off the bottom line there now. So we should be ready to go in about 10, 15 minutes or less. I, can, I shut my truck off for night. Uh, because of that engine heater, I can warm up my, my coolant before I, which warms up my engine, which makes it easy to start in the morning. And I have a bunk heater, which keeps me warm. So I don't need to idle my truck. I'm fortunate for that but I don't move my truck in the morning until everything has properly been warmed up, right? I get my oil temperature up to at least 150 Fahrenheit, my water temperature to about 150. My, my engine heater gets my water temp up to 150 usually anyway, but then once you start it and everything gets moving, it goes back down to about 125 and then it'll slowly come back up. Once Old Blue is all nicely warmed up and ready to go, then I'll put it to work. I don't like working it Especially when I have a load behind me too, right? But at any time, I don't like working the truck before all the fluids have properly warmed up and the engine is ready to go. Very bad for the engine, very bad. It's bad enough that you have to park outside overnight when you're on the road. At least when I'm at home, I can put it in a nice warm shop, right? When you're on the road, not every truck stop has a shop for me to park in overnight. Actually, none of them do. So you have to park outside. <laughs> Everybody does. So, you just make it as easy on the truck as possible. This is a nice time to uh, take your microfiber towel and do a little bit of cleaning and polishing before you start your day. These steering wheels are nice, but they get covered in fingerprints. You don't want to start the day off with yesterday's dirt and grime. Get that all off. Old Blue has definitely had a chance to warm up. So we've got our clearance. We're now ready to go. Let's go bring those skids to Altona. This is the Gas Tracks truck stop. That's just before the border. All of you who come through here regularly know it well. Got really good pizza in here. I didn't get any today. I have food in the truck, but if you ever want to try some good pizza, it's delicious. They come in like little, like single, single slices or single sizes. Mmm. There's duty free across the street. That's yeah, just a mile up, mile up. There's the border. It's funny, this is uh, Pembina, North Dakota. I believe this is the oldest settlement in North Dakota. And if you follow the I-29 from Pembina, North Dakota into Canada, it actually turns into Pembina Highway when you get to Winnipeg.
go drop these drop these skids off, get some weight off my trailer. It was actually my fault this time that uh, I didn't send the paperwork in soon enough. Because I picked the one stop, or the one pickup was in Illinois, right? The second pickup was in Minnesota. I figured I was gonna send in all the paperwork together at once after I pick up in Minnesota. Well, it was the Illinois freight that slowed me down now, so if I would've sent that in right away, you know, it might've been clear by now, by this morning. Because the Minnesota freight cleared very quickly. It was the Illinois freight that took a while. Oh well. It is what it is, can't change it now. Just make the most of the day. Back to old school tarping. Bringing along a riser just in case for my reload. Uh, throw a bunch of lumber right on this lower deck here and take it on down to Brainerd. We gotta get going though. They're coming along on this four lane divided here. From what I've heard, they're twinning this highway from the Manitoba border all the way to Kenora. Which is awesome because this is a regular route for me. And I have been begging them through my videos for the last 10 years to twin this highway. Now all I can do is hope that it gets done before I retire. Oh buddy, 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 this is not the place to stop. Freaks me out when people do that. Hey, you're not gonna get back into traffic now, bud. It's busy. That's why you don't stop on the shoulder. Especially in a construction zone yet. Eggs. They're drilling into the side of the hill here. They're gonna put dynamite down there and boof. Blow it up. I'd love to see that once. I've never actually seen them ignite the dynamite, but they probably don't let people anywhere nearby. This is the mess that it leaves. And they clean this up and then they do it again until they get it to the proper, uh, proper width that they need for the road, right? <laughs> That is awesome. Oh, watch your bucket there, bud. He's got it. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing. That's awesome. I didn't know that, that was your job. You just blow stuff up all day, every day. You don't even need a Canada Day or 4th of July. You just go to work every day, blow stuff up. Here I'm getting loaded. Got in just in the nick of time. They they already told me that I might not get loaded today, but it looks like they uh, they found some time. Either that or they're working overtime, in which case I appreciate that. But uh, they're getting me loaded. So as soon as they get the lumber on my trailer, I'll tie it down, go grab my paperwork, and we gotta go tarp it. Then we'll be on our way. I don't know how far we're gonna make it. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna make it all the way down. We'll have to find a place to call it a night sometime, some, somewhere on the way between here and Brainerd. I don't know many truck stops though where I could park overnight, but we'll find something. We always do. This isn't like we're on the East Coast or something. You can always find parking somewhere out here in the Midwest. Whew. Go, 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 go. It's the name of the game. Like I said yesterday, or was it today? Be careful what you ask for. I asked them to keep me busy. They are coming through. Go, 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 go. The name of the game. I'm also like laser focused though too. Very often I uh, take my time a little bit more. I like to enjoy my work, right? I don't wanna always be like rushing like the world's about to end, but for these next couple of months, or two and a half months, it's go time. I'm, I'm gonna be their number one driver. You'll see. 
Now that I said that, every other driver is going to start competing with me. <laughs> Got a tarp load of fancy lumber on my trailer. We're sitting at a gross weight of about 78,000 pounds. I'll show you the load yet, don't worry. It's just dark right now and you, like I said, I'm laser focused. We gotta go, go, go. I wanna get this unloaded tomorrow morning so that I'm ready for a reload by the afternoon. Or maybe late morning, you never know. Sounds like I have my whole next week planned out too. We'll see. I won't get too excited about it yet because it's a little ways in the future. Let's worry about today. Tomorrow will worry about itself. There's enough problems tomorrow. Just stay focused on today. And today we're going to get as far as we can with this. I'd like to get all the way down to Brainerd. I, I don't know if I'll have the hours, but We'll see. At the Walmart in Fort Francis. There's another one of our guys right over here. Right there. I don't know if he's sleeping here or not. I'm gonna keep going across the border yet. I'm just gonna go and take a look at the load, make sure everything looks good still. Looks good to me. Yep, looks good to me. Awesome. This is another one of our guys here. Nice truck. Have you guys seen this already? The shift cover came. Nicely cleans it up and hides all those airlines. Gives it a nice finished look. Let us continue. My load has been cleared for the border. Let's go to America. Go to America. I want to unload this tomorrow morning as early as I can. daylight here you can see it now about 44,000 pounds of lumber under that tarp fancy lumber so you got to tarp it can't get all full of salt and road grime it's probably for finishing carpentry and you know interior work I wouldn't want salt all over the interior of my kitchen either yeah that's the day today. It was a busy day. We started off in Pemina, North Dakota. We delivered to Altona, Manitoba. We went up to our yard, switched trailers, handed in paperwork, grabbed some more paperwork, grabbed an empty step deck, took the step deck to Kenora, got loaded, crossed the border, 
into Minnesota at International Falls. Got all the way down to Deer River, ran it hours. And this is where the logbook said, Trigger Josh, you have to call it a day. You can't work anymore. If you work any further, we're gonna throw you in jail. Oh, okay. Calm down, geez. You know that trucking is like uh, one of the only careers that if you work overtime, they can actually arrest you and charge you? I'm making it like bigger than it actually is. It's just, you're not allowed to go past your hours of service. They, they could arrest you. So if you're a truck driver and you wanna, you know, work a little bit of overtime, bank some hours. No, 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 you don't. You gotta go to sleep right now. You better sleep good. We're gonna do it all over again tomorrow. And this is the next morning and I did have a good sleep. You can probably tell I'm just waking up here, getting all blue warmed up. We're gonna start right here tomorrow. So thanks for joining me today. You know the drill. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Double click the dislike button if you didn't. Make sure you double click it. Very important. So that's it for today. It was just a quick day. Very busy running around. So thanks everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.